Bonne sera, I'm Rick Steves, and I'm, I'm just heading back to my hotel. I've had a beautiful dinner, just maybe a little bit too much wine, but I'm just overcome by travelers' happiness here because this is the square that I call home. I live under those arches. That's my favorite hotel. And this is the square, the Piazza of the Annunciation. And this is the first, the first Renaissance building by Brunelleschi back in 1420. Look at those, the harmony of those arches. And then the beautiful Della Robbia glazed terracotta medallions. And if we look at this square, this was the, like the center of Renaissance Florence 600 years ago. And this is, this is a breakthrough thanks to the Medici. That's Ferdinand, and he's one of the Medici princes. And these Medici were rich banking families that were really good at marrying into the royals. Uh, and then they became petty kings. And he was the, the, the Grand Duke of a little country called Tuscany back when Italy was a bunch of feuding little countries like that. But just take a moment and appreciate what the Renaissance did to take Europe out of the Dark Ages and humanism, society. Society could get together and construct a square with this elegance with this harmony, with this cohesiveness. And just down the street, we've got the towering Duomo, Brunelleschi's amazing dome. And I'm in the middle of this city right now, and it's just peaceful. It's peaceful, it's floodlit, it's nearly traffic free. And yeah, there's a lot of tourists, but if you're out and about under the flood lighting, getting excited about the Medici, sleeping on a square like this, in a hotel like that, whole oh, life is good. Happy travels from Florence, from the Piazza of the Annunciation, under a floodlit Medici prince.